So season of the risen is coming to an end and I thought what better way to end the season than with a best of fashion video. Now to find the best set I held two fashion competitions. The first one required you to use pieces from witch queen or season of the risen and then the second competition required you to use the guardian game set. Now in this video I'll be showing you all 38 of the best sets from both of these competitions and I have split this video into segments so you could skip ahead to whichever class you really want to see. I will also be leaving a link to the discord in the description description for any of you which want to participate in any future videos and also don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as this is my biggest fashion video yet and it took a really long time to make but anyways with all out the way it's time we get straight into the sets so I'm firstly going to be starting off with the hunter sets and I do want to point out that these are not going to be in any particular order now as you can see this first one from monkey snail used the Tiamat ornaments for the dragon shadow exotic they blended it really well with the seasonal grips and mask from season of the risen and i also really like the use of the iron forerunner boots as the patterns on the top of the thighs really blend well with the chest plate now they actually used four different shaders on this set going with a nice blue and gold look the gold makes sense as there is some lighter yellows on the tiamat ornaments as well as the unshadable gold on the cloak overall a fantastic look on this set and easily one of the best looks i've ever seen with the dragon shadow exotic now this next one comes from smooth and used the new sweet embrace ornaments for the omnioculus all the the pieces in this set blend so well and it's a fantastic use of the shader wicked overgrowth i particularly like how the cloak and helmet blends making it all look like one cloth piece fantastic job though smooth on your set then we have this set from owen pappy they use the six coyote exotic really love the use of the new seasonal cloak and i think that blends really well in design with the chest plate the other pieces complement this very well and what's great about omnicronia is it creates a gold look with a blue glow and the blue glow on this set works particularly well well, as as you can see on the left side of the grips there is some blue pattern which cannot shade then next we have this set from alkaiser they use the new guardian games cloak as well as the new exotic the renewal grasps really love how all these pieces blend with the white gold and purple the only issue i have is the omega mechanos plate does have some blue on the lower side but other than that i do think this is a very solid set then next we have this set from s004k they use the radiant dance machines really love how they use the new guardian games grips to blend with the glow on the boots and i also like the use of the new witch queen cloak gumshoe gumtian as it makes the chest play look more like a jacket overall you did a fantastic job as this exotic can be quite difficult to work with then next we have another set that used the new guardian games cloak really good job to bring on this set using the shader burnished reed really good choice of shaders the gold on the helmet and cloak cannot shade and overall the set flows very well then we have this set from dafu legend called the sunset rider this uses the new rare helmet the Gunshoe Gumption, which is great if you want to create a biker look. Midnight Exogen creates a really nice shine on the visor piece, and the shadering on the boots is just fantastic, allowing them to blend really well with the Raiju's harness. Really good job overall, Dafu Legend, on your set. Then here we have another set that used the Sweet Embrace ornaments for the Omnioculus, and this is from Hike. They also use the new Raid Shader Echo Dango, which by the way looks fantastic on pretty much any piece. It's definitely a shader I'd recommend picking up. Now here we have another set from Jiro that also used the sweet embrace with the raid pieces. I think the helmet and cloak are a fantastic combination and the shader bloody tooth really works well throughout the whole set. Now here we have a bit of a lighter look from Roxanne that used the new sonic stalker cloak. Really love the colours here and how the arms and helmet fit in. Unfortunately though these pieces are no longer obtainable. Now for any of you looking for a lucky pants set here is one from Arbiter that used the new photo suede vest and gumshoe gumption mask. These pieces blend so well with the pathfinder grips and the intrepid cloak and i love how they shaded the set giving a darker brown look that matches so well with the hand cannon they shown as well as the ship really good job to avatar on the set then we have cleans with a set that used the new void 3.0 arms and cloak what i really like about this set is how they incorporated more of the purple cloth on the chest and boots to match with the arms overall a really clean set from cleans and then this final set is from deadly ellis 22 which based this set off the joker the Abyss Walker mask is a fantastic choice as it gets that blood smile on the face. And also the way the eyes are shaped does make it look very menacing. Now I also love the other pieces in this set and how they manage to incorporate an uncommon piece. The colours just work so well throughout and you definitely captured the look of the Joker. And that pretty much wraps up all of the Hunter sets. My favourite three sets were from Smooth, Monkey Snail and Deadly Ellis. Feel free to let me know which Hunter sets were your favourite in the comments below. Now I'm going to be showing you all the best Hunter 
untitled set with this first one coming from Satman Jr. They call this set the Iron Beast and as you can see they use the new seasonal gauntlets and mark from Season of the Risen. They also use the new exotic ornaments for the Path of Burning Steps and overall I think these pieces flow extremely well. The colours are perfect and I think you definitely captured the look of the Iron Banner. So really good job to Satman on the set. Now here is another set that used the new seasonal armour and this is from Bank. They instead went with a Cabal look using the Crace of the Fallen Star. Really good use of the shade of Burnished Dreams and I also love how they blended the Ghost Shell and Sparrow with the set. Now moving on, here we have a set from Myers to use the new Raid Armour as well as the new Exotic Ornaments, Trace of the Throne. I think the Foreign Helm is a perfect fit for this chest and arms. And what I really like about this set is the fact that the chest plate has like a moving rib cage. It fits really well with the shader as it does make it look like flesh and like all the parts have opened up. And this whole look also blends very well with the Ghost Shell ship and Sparrow they provided. Now here is another set that also used the new exotic ornaments Trace of the Throne with the Thorian Helm. Shrigma instead though used the Pyrrhic Ascent Plate which is a fantastic choice as the spikiness matches with the arms. And with this set they wanted to make it look like the Lucent Hive, hence why they used the shade of Lucid. Now this is one of the most unique sets I've seen on the Titan and this is the spawn set from Techno Viking. I particularly like the choice of helmet as the pattern and glow match very well with the reference. And you can see very clearly the reason why they use the dragonfly chest is to match the torso pattern and then the shadow gauntlets to match the shape of the cape. Overall this is hands down one of my favourite titan sets that I've ever seen. Really good job to Techno Viking on the set. Then next we have this set from Brump that used the new Guardian Games ornaments as well as the exotic Peregrine Greaves. Definitely one of the harder exotics to work with for the titan but they surprisingly made a really nice look with the rare shader Avalon Teal. Now there was also another really nice set with this exotic from baggy builds. They instead though went with a darker look with a blue glow and what I really like about this set is the use of the phenotype plasticity adding some wings on the back to match with the boots. Overall both of these sets look fantastic with the exotic. Then next we have this set from Ash they use the new exotic ornament Terminus Emissary. They call this set the Neon Rider hence why they went with a lime green look with a bright glow on the ghost shell and sparrow. Now there was also another set that used the new exotic ornament and this was from Hard to Play. They went with a more robot like design and I particularly like how the Koros function helm blends with the chest plate. The other pieces also blend very well with this set so really good job to how to play. Then we have another set from Monkey Snail with this Siva Titan. They actually won the Guardian Games competition as well hence why they're being featured again. This whole set looks awesome with the new Guardian Games helmet. The colours all blend really well and it's one of my favourite Siva Titan sets that I've seen. Now moving on here we have a set from Nephilim Drake using the new exotic Lorely Splendor. They call this set the Sunbreak Forge Master and what I really like about this set is the use of the Solstice 2020 gauntlets with the new raid chest. With the shade of Mercury Prophetic the shines all blend very well and there's really only one thing I don't really like about the set and that is the mark choice. But still it's one of my favourite looks I've seen with the Lorely so really great job. Now here is another set with the Lorely Splendor from 4. They instead went with Golden Trace and went with more of a fair look. The Meridian Constellation blends so well the light cane so really great job on this look as well. Then next we have this set from Beefamous Prime they used the new Witch Queen rare helmet. It all flows really well with the bulkier pieces that they went with and the shade of time on it gives the pieces a nice worn look. And then next we have another set from Techno Viking as they also won the Guardian Games contest with their astronaut set. Love how you blended the lost Pacific pieces with the new Guardian Games gauntlets and the rocket scientist ornament for the Lion Ramparts exotic is the perfect choice in terms of fashion and also gameplay so congratulations again on your set and then the final titan set i want to show you all is from darren c again another really nice use of the new exotic ornaments for the path of burning steps the glows on the boots blend really well with the new guardian games gauntlets as well as the ghost shell and sparrow and yeah they are pretty much all of the titan sets my three favorite sets were from techno viking brump and also monkey snail feel free to let me know which titan sets were your favorite in the comments below now it's time to move on to the Warlock sets with his first one from Oxy. They used the new Guardian Games ornaments and based their set off the darkness. The colours are just spot on and the triangular glows match really well with the pyramid ships as well as the glows on the Mind Striders ornaments. And to add to this set they provided a ship and also the sparrow from the new raid. Fantastic job to Oxy on the set. Now there was another set quite similar to this from Hike and they used the Yuga Sundown robes. Really good choice if you're trying to make a Warmind based set. And then here we have another 
clever use of the new Guardian Games hood from X Hour. They instead when they see the look using their coaxial bonds ornament for the Ophidian aspect. Really nice sets overall and I personally really like the new Guardian Games set. Now anyway she was a different set from Broadsword 115 that used the second filaments exotic. They went with an earthy look to match the vine like design of the boots. And to top it all off they paired it with the wooden ornaments for the Wither Horde. Overall a really nice idea and fantastic execution with the set. Then here we have another set from Hard to Play that used the new Osmomancy gloves. Really nice looking set with an icy theme throughout to match with stasis. Then we have this set from Vanquish based off the Greek god Apollo, which if you didn't know is the god of sun and light, hence why they went with these certain braces exotic. And something I particularly like about this set is the helmet choice as the top half does look like the sun. Overall a very interesting and well made set. Then we have this set from Jakri called the Divine Soul. It's given me a lot of Egyptian vibes given the colours and the Goshen Sparrow used. The set overall is very interesting and I like how the Resonant Fury cowl blends with the new seasonal robes. And they also made a really nice set for the Guardian Games contest so really great job on both of your winning sets. Then next we have this set from Vendor called the Executioner. Really like how you blended the necrotic grip with the robes and boots. The colours are really nice and I like how you use Bitter Pill to make the skull and the face stand out. The only issue I have with this set is the bond as the purple does look a little bit out of place. And then the final Warlock set is from Fancy Pants Oryx. The new Void ornaments on the helmet and bond blend really well with the Mind Striders ornaments. And it's quite impressive how they managed to use a different shade on every piece. With Ultra Plasmic on the robes adding a nice blue shine to complement the purple. And it's overall a very clean Void Warlock. But anyways, they're pretty much all of the Warlock sets. If I were to pick my three favourites then I'd pick Oxy, X Hower and Broadsword. There were many amazing sets from both competitions and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who submitted a set. If you'd like to participate in the next fashion competition then I will leave a discord link in the description. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing for more Destiny fashion. Thank you all so much for watching and an extra thank you to all my YouTube members for the amazing support. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.